Hello, my name is Mackenzie. Farmers are in a constant battle with nature to protect their crops from natural threats and plant pathogenic organisms. Of these organisms, fungi are the leading cause of crop loss around the world. According to Food and Agricultural Organizations of the United Nations, fungus in crops cost the global economy around $220 billion each year. Botrysphaeria is one such fungus with over 100 deadly strains and a home in every country that grows permanent row crops. But how does this fungus work? Botrysphaeria spreads its spores using two methods. It has waterborne spore sacs called pycnidia and airborne spore sacs called parathecia. Each of these contains tens of thousands of spores and releases them every time they come into contact with water, strong winds, or other powerful elements. When Botrysphaeria comes into contact with the tree, the spores adhere to the bark and are absorbed into the woody perennial through the epidermis, also called the bark, or through the exposed cambium and sapwood layers. Botrysphaeria commonly enters through a wound or a tree that has been previously infected or weakened by blight, a less serious infection. Botrysphaeria inflicts its damage through following a formulated method of attack. This fungal infection first attacks the buds, which are the reproductive system of a tree. This destroys all crop production in the present and following years on the infected limb, causing stem dieback and the loss of mass production. Next, Botrysphaeria attacks the plant's branches, developing lesions and coating any remaining fruit or nut holes with pycnidia and parathecia. These branches are pruned and burned at the end of a harvest. The last target are the leaves, which become coated with pycnidia and parathecia, inhibiting photosynthesis and spreading infection further into the tree. How can this be stopped? The most common method of prohibiting infection is through the use of fungicides. According to the American Phytopathological Society, fungicides target cell membranes, disrupt energy production or respiration, inactivate critical enzymes or proteins, or impact the production of sterols, which are a type of lipid, or chitin, which are a primary component of the fungi cell walls. Is there any other way to prevent the spreading of Botrysphaeria? In a scientific research study I conducted in 2019, I proved that fungi spread their spores when infected branches are burned. In these large burn piles, fire is started at the bottom of the pile and thermal drafts are created. Much like my hand representing flames on this balloon, the heat warns the pycnidia, causing them to shoot their spores into the air to be carried out with the thermal drafts back into the orchards. Fortunately, I also discovered that wetting the branches before burning the piles decreases the spores released by 77%, so I recommend that farmers burn during or directly after a rain.